is Zero at PG Zone HD, and today I'm bringing you another blind box video. Today we're going to be opening up a total of 12 items, including two Play Doh surprise eggs and 10 blind boxes. Now we're going to start the video off by opening up the Marvel Vinylmation series number two first. And here's going to be a look at some of the different figures that you can get in this set. The Mysterio is really cool. I remember getting him. He definitely stands out among the crowd. This one. Let's see if we get a new one. Uh, let me just get this open. And inside, if I can ever get them out, we got Venom. I was about to say Spider-Man. I thought we had a alien symbiote Spider-Man, but it looks like we got Venom. And, you know, his last movie wasn't the greatest from what I've heard, so I didn't watch it. Which is really unfortunate because Venom is such a neat character. All right, next up, we have the Fortune Pork series number two. This is a very, very hard to find blind box. Here's some of the different figures that you can collect. This one was made in 2009, so it's pretty old. You know, this is one of the more colorful blind boxes that I've ever seen released. It might be the most colorful one that I've ever seen. The Knight Riders, which is right next to it, is also another really colorful blind box. But this guy, okay, so we definitely got a new one. This looks like something from SpongeBob. Right there he is, kind of hugging that rainbow over there. This one's name is Ping, and he's a 2 and 20. And he's got like a little heart on his shirt. And of course, these are hangers, so you can hang him from something, like the ceiling or your car mirror. <laughs> All right, so next up, we have the Disney Vinylmation Mickey's Wild West. And here's a look at some of the different figures that you can get. This one, does it have a date on it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, for some reason, the Vinylmations don't have the years on the boxes. And for this one... Alright, so if I had to guess, is this Donald Duck? Okay, it's Huey. Alright, so I was kind of close. <laughs> it's, I guess Huey, Dewey, and Louie are all in this set. And they all kind of look the same. But there is Mr. Huey with his little bow and arrow on his back. And then, speaking of colorful blind boxes, here's the Knight Riders. This is actually the last one of these that I have. So this is the final Knight Riders that I'm ever going to open. And inside, we got a big figure, whatever it is. Okay, so we got this guy. And this is a new one for me. I don't think I've ever gotten this one. His name is Milo. And it says, this serene creature is often found wandering empty streets late at night, spreading dream magic through open windows. He is a master of shape-shifting and negotiation, often being used in volatile scenarios to ease tensions and create unity. And this little guy right here was also in the box. These are very easy to miss. This one is an all-white owl. I think these are supposed to be owls. And, you know, just one last look at that one. He's kind of weird because he doesn't have legs or arms or anything. <laughs> it's a little bit of a creepy looking figure. All right, so next up, we have the DC Universe Mini Mezzets. This box has been a little crushed right there. We're still missing some of the figures out of this set. And inside, we got nothing. There's no tear strip. All right, <laughs> so you gotta love that. And we got this guy. Now, in another video, I called him Nightwing, and some of you guys were saying I was wrong about that. It's somebody else. I'm still thinking this is Nightwing. I haven't looked it up, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe it's the 8% Nightwing right there. And moving along to the Heroes of the Storm. This is going to be a mystery mini. Here's some of the figures that you get in this set. So if you buy the entire like a box of these, you get all the figures. These don't have odds on them. So obviously, whatever's inside of here, I've never gotten because I haven't opened the entire case yet. And inside... Wow, this is a giant figure, whatever it is. He's huge. <laughs> I can't even get the bag off of me so big. Wow, like his wings are actually stretched out, or it's his tail, excuse me, his tail. Wow, look at this guy. So here's a look at him. He's right there on the box. He's probably the most scariest figure in this set, in my opinion. That's a very, very scary looking figure. There's all around him. He's very, like, pointy, too. I'd hate to step on him. That would, that would definitely not feel good to step on that in the middle of the night. All right, so next up, let's go ahead and open up a Play-Doh egg. So let's do the hero egg first. If I can get this off there, and 
Inside, we got a couple blonde bags. We have the Justice League, and also we have a Marvel Secret Wars collector's key ring. Let's start with that one. And inside, we got Star-Lord. Nice. Okay, so here's a look at Star-Lord. I don't think I've gotten this one in the past, so I'm actually kind of excited to get him. And then for this one, we got... We got three figures, so this one's definitely Wonder Woman. And for our second figure, it looks like we got Robin. And then for the third figure, it's Green Arrow. I'm, I'm fairly certain that's Green Arrow. I don't get a lot of Green Arrow stuff here on the channel, but pretty sure that's supposed to be Green Arrow. So that was a pretty good uh, pull out of that Play-Doh egg. Next up, we have the Scribblenauts Unmasked series number four. And we're still missing the mystery figure from this set, I believe. I don't think I ever got that one. And this guy is a two and 18, so he's a more common figure. There's a few easier to get than him, but he's still fairly difficult. And here he is on his little scribble pad with the pencil. And if you looked really, really closely, really, really fast, when I first opened this up, his arm actually was not attached. I had to put his arm on. And when I was putting him on his base, I actually cracked the base a little bit right there. So this figure was just destined to break apart. All right, so next up, we have another Play-Doh egg. This one is a little more colorful than what I usually do, but let's go ahead and get the Play-Doh off. And inside we have a couple more surprise packs. This time we have the Mini Winnie's Surprise, which is ponies, I believe. <laughs> and then we have the Palace Pets. So I kind of try to do one egg for girls and one for boys in this video. And here's gonna be our pet, which is, oh wow, how do you say that name right there? Light Lychee, maybe? She looks different in the picture. She's actually got purple hair right there, but right here is blue. So that's kind of strange, but there's our lychee, litchee, however you say her name, I don't know. And then for our other surprise pack, we got, we got this one, wow. This one looks like a horse cow. This is a very interesting looking figure. And from looking at the pictures, I think, I think we got this one right here, which is Star. I believe that's the one we got, but this definitely looks like a moo cow horse. <laughs> All right, so we have three blind boxes and one more surprise egg left. And you know, at the beginning of this video, I think I said 12 items. There's actually 13 if you count the Spider-Man right there. I totally forgot about him. He was hiding in the white background. <laughs> So here's a look at some of the different Muppets. This is series number two. I guess the first series was so popular they decided to do a second series. You would think that there wasn't really enough Muppets to do two different series, but oh wow, this one's a pretty cool one. And he comes with this clear little hat that fell on the ground as soon as I opened him up. And here's a look at the back of the box. If you notice, he is not on there because this is, ding, 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 the mystery figure. And you know, what name, what's the name of this Muppet? And it's really difficult to see, but it actually says it's Waldo the Spirit of 3D. And here's his card by the artist is Monty Mal Maldovan, Maldovan? I don't know how to say that one. That's a kind of a weird last name, but that's a really, really cool Muppet. That's probably the coolest Muppet that you can get from that series. He's definitely different than the rest. And next up, we have the Heroes and Villains vinyl figure. And here's a look at some of the different figures that you can get. And it's a one in 12 chance of each. Now, this one says one in 12 chance. I'm gonna have to assume if you buy an entire case, you get all of them, but don't quote me on that. I'm not certain about that. Inside, I'd like to get Ariel. And we did. <laughs> I wish I would have said that a little bit faster, but yeah, I definitely got Ariel, and she looks very, very upset at somebody. I don't know who she's so mad about, but she's definitely not happy. Maybe she had a bad burrito. I don't know. She just <laughs> she doesn't look very happy. You don't see that very often. Very angry looking characters coming out of something so innocent. All right, so for this egg, you know, I think I opened one of these four or five years ago, and I do not remember for the life of me what I got inside of this. So here's what we got. So we got some sort of keychain hanger looking thing. We got some candy. We got a Dr. Octopus sticker, and let's see what this is exactly. 
So this is what we ended up with out of that Spider-Man egg. And as you can see, it's kind of hard to tell, but the little picture inside is actually bent. It's actually kind of torn up a little bit inside of there, which is really strange because this thing can't be open. So these were obviously very poorly made. <laughs> so, all right, moving on along to our final item of the video. We have the DC Superheroes Mystery Minis still waiting for the 1 in 72 yellow flash. And inside, we have, what do we got? Does it feel like a yellow flash? Let me see, what does he look, you know, it actually kind of feels like that, but I'm probably not that lucky, <laughs> so I'm not. All right, so we got this guy who is, where's he at? He's a one in 24, and you know, I've gotten this one in the past and I've already forgotten what his name is. I'm just not the best with DC. I'm a huge Marvel person, but still not, not really remembering some of the more offbeat DC characters, but there's a look at him. He's holding some sort of ray gun, it looks like. Looks kinda like an alien. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. If you did, be sure and press the like button. It helps support the content here on the channel. This is Zero, and as always, thank you guys for stopping by.